So now discuss about the structure of DNA, what is DNA, what are the role of DNA and how DNA help to express the traits. That's an example. So characters being transferred by the help of DNA. No? DNA is inherited, carry the inheritance of hereditary information from parent to offsprings. An organism or the organism of the same species looks similar because of exact DNA copy. So how DNA helps to carry the information and how DNA helps to express the traits. So let's discuss for the structure of DNA. Structure of DNA. So DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And DNA is a part of chromosome. You know, nucleus contain thread-like substance is called chromatin material. So during cell division, chromatin material contains to form chromosome. And number of chromosome will fix for specified organism. Like human being, it is 23 pairs or 46 numbers. So like organism to organism, the chromosome numbers will vary. Secondly, the number of DNA contents or DNA molecules will vary. Similarly, zine will vary. So let's discuss what is zine and what is DNA. So chromosome contain the chromosome made up of the molecules are called nucleotide, which are the part of DNA or unit part of DNA. Get so DNA. DNA present in chromosome and some part of DNA is called zine. So zine is a part of DNA and zine carry the inheritance or genetical characters from parents to offsprings, from generation to generation, next generation. So how zine able to express its characters, we will discuss. Before that, I am going to explain what is the structure of DNA, what are the molecules present in DNA, how it looks like exactly. So DNA is a double helical structure. This structure was given by Watson and Crick, the model of DNA, helical structures. So this is a DNA structures, this is called double helical structure of DNA. DNA, it was given by Watson and Crick, Watson and Crick for the bigger novel prize. So DNA have a two strands in between the linkage between some nitrogen base like adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine. So these are the nitrogen base present which link between the two strands. So strands are aligned in three days, five days, five days aligned. So the main portions of DNA is nucleotide. So DNA contains three parts. First is phosphate group. Second, next molecule of DNA is pentose sugar, that is ribose sugar. Pentose ribose sugar. Third, nitrogen base means these are heterocyclic ring compounds having nitrogen. So nitrogen base are two types. One is purine base, another is pyrimidine base. So purine base are adenine and guanine, pyrimidine base are cytosine and thymine. Purine is a structures, one is hexagon, another is pentagonal structures. These are having nitrogen in the respective positions. Only pyrimidine also is a hexagonal structures. So purine structures having adenine and guanine follow, and pyrimidine structures being followed by cytosine and thymine. 
molecules. So these three molecules are present in DNA. So the combination of phosphate, pentazole, and nitrogen based, base is called nucleotide. Remember? So nucleotide is a unit of DNA which contain phosphate plus sugar plus nitrogen base. Ready? So what about nucleoside? Remember? Nucleoside except phosphate except phosphate group sugar plus nitrogen base is called nucleoside so the sum of nucleoside plus phosphate is called nucleotide finally so nucleo tide contain nucleoside plus phosphate group so this is the structure of DNA. How the nitrogen base, phosphate group and sugar are aligned. Remember. So make it zoom. Sugar are being linked by phosphate groups. So that are the part of this trend. Got it? Sugar phosphate make the strand and sugar and sugar is being like this is the side another side so these two sugar is being linked by nitrogen base so this is sugar this is phosphate group sugar sugar being linked with phosphate group to make the strand and the strand strand is being linked by nitrogen base adenine and thymine being linked by two covalent bonds similarly cytosine guanine being linked by three covalent bond it also add here another pentose sugar this also add another pentose sugar by this process the strand will form so strand contain sugar phosphate and the ladder as like this adenine thymine cytosine and this strand will continue and the reputations of this nitrogen base sequence determine the zinc characters got it so now we will discuss how generical traits get expressed. The traits related to the zinc and each zinc having a different pattern of arrangement of nitrogen base. So zinc to zinc the arrangement of nitrogen base will vary accordingly. The characters of zinc will vary. So now how traits gets expressed. So traits is nothing but the character and the character is being linked by the zinc. So zinc is responsible to express the character. So how it takes place, you know, zinc is the part of DNA. Zinc will control the process of formation of protein so protein synthesis is being controlled by specific zinc a specific zinc produce specific types of protein and that protein is responsible for morphological or physiological effect or physiological effect so zinc helps to protein synthesis by the help of RNA and ribosome. They are responsible for synthesis of the protein, and that protein decides its morphological structures and physiological effect. Take an example. You know, all the zygotes are looking similar. So when zygote will form by the fusion of male and female gametes, they will look similar, but when it mature to form the organism, the organism characters, its morphological structures, its physiological functions all will vary. Why? The logic is different types of zinc, different number of zinc will decide the synthesis of the protein. Accordingly, the morphological structure will represent what structure should it make. Take an example. Tiger its curve, human and its babies. 
why these are having similarities so different number of gene in tigers different number of humans the number will vary the gene of tiger take an example tiger nose nose of tiger and nose of human for production of nose the raw material of the nose is protein you know? to make the structure of nose protein is required raw materials and that protein is being formed by the direction of its zin the zin is direct to ribosome to synthesize such type of protein to make or to design the structure of nose so nose structure vary from organism to organism because of changes in zin and zin will decide which protein will synthesize accordingly the structure will make and that study is called the traits of the organism expressed by help of zin so zin is responsible to carry the characters or traits from one organism to another organism if some change in genetical code so the morphological or physiological system will vary you know some disease also occur that disease is due to the change in zin genetical codes or the zin is responsible to produce such organ if that gene will change the organ will also become defect so the baby having defect organs because of change in gene gene and the gene change occurs we have discussed due to mutation a mutation is a reason to change the gene get it